So how do you feel getting one year older? Mm. I always tell my boyfriend that after I hit 23 or 24, mentally, I just feel that age forever. I don't feel, like I just stop counting, you know? I forget how old I am. I'm not that old, but I guess like after, 18 is a really big milestone because you know, you can legally be out past what, 10 o'clock? 18? Oh, okay. And then at 21, that's another big milestone because you can start drinking. And then after 21, it's just like, everything's the same until you hit what, 65 or 55 where you get the the senior citizen discounts at Denny's. 55. Yeah. And then 65 when you can retire. So I'm not looking forward to those ages. So <laughs> this actually is a good thing that you lock it because some people are afraid of getting older. And they, they think about it and on their birthday they get really stressed out because they are one year older. Mentally they feel older. Mm -hmm. But it can you if you can just block it out and don't say it, don't think about it. You ten years old. Don't think about it then because your mind pretty much controls a lot of your emotions, your body and everything else. Mm -hmm. And if you feel young, no matter how old you are, then you always stay young. Do you think people get sad and block out their age on their birthday because they're not satisfied with where they're at in their life or their age? You get me? Like, oh, 30 years old, you should be having a career, you should get a job. Like everything society tells you, you need to have a family, a house. Probably. And so when they hit 30 and they're not there yet, they get sad because, you know, they have higher age. I think that's part of it, but another part is just... Just some people are afraid of getting older, uh, having their birthday. And from what I know, a lot of people don't like to share how old they are. You know that? Are you? No, I'm fine. Hey. You know how I turned five old and I, I never had a problem with it. I just, my thing is mentally, I'm always stuck in 28. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like you, how you feel you're stuck in 22, 23? Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. And that's actually that's a that's big a, one, mom. From 28 <laughs> to 30, I'm like 24. That's two years ago. No, but I a lot. I I just mentally I, I feel that way, young, whatever. And that's a good thing. And I'm gonna make you, Jaden. Um, I don't know why it's so much today. That's a lot. <laughs> but then again, he eats a lot. He can eat a whole bowl of soup. I make a um, a cup of pancake. I don't know why. Oh, um, buttermilk? I don't know why. It's so much. It's one giant pancake and a uh, medium sized pancake. <laughs> but I know Jaden like it, so if he doesn't finish that, he finish When I turn 30, Jaden will be 10 years old. Mm. Where's your mom? The good thing is. By then you finish with school. Mm -hmm. Just focus on your career. Well, by the time he turns seven, I'll be done with school. Mm -hmm. I'll make it rain money on you. After I pay off my tuition. <laughs> That's like 10 years. Hopefully you will you land it in a good paint job you can pay in the Um have you heard about income based uh, repayment plan? No. So after you're done with school, when you get a job, instead of paying the rate that uh, the loan expects you to pay, you could apply for an income base. So if you're making forty thousand dollars, your your payment is a lot lower monthly. And then after 10 years, you can apply for loan forgiveness. Whereas if you're making like $100,000, obviously you'll pay a lot more than the $40,000 income. Yeah. You can apply for one thing, but getting it is a lot of Oh, right now, you can't take it out? No. I 
think it's because I eat a lot of sodium too, so mm -hmm. I just don't know. What you need to do, what you need to do is just put soap in Mom, I put soap, I put lotion. I just put this. No, babe. This is not drinking water. Just what am I gonna do? You gotta do something. Mom, that's what I'm doing right now. For my weight loss journey, I um, I record what I eat all day long. Mm -hmm. I, I will put it in my notebook. I have a notebook. That's what I do. And then, of course, exercise, meditation, you know. Because your mind control everything. If I can meditate and think, not think of food, maybe that's what I need to do. Mm -hmm. I wake myself this morning. One, four, seven. But I'm not, I'm not. Well, I'm saying this, so you kind of recorded it. Yeah. With my, with my eyes, I should be 120. So that's my 27 uh, pounds to shed. And I give myself six months. Hmm. So six months, maybe two pounds a month. That's very little. Why don't you do that? Three pounds, three pounds a month. You're doing like four months. But I like to. I don't want to push it too hard. Six months is good. It's, this is not just lose weight. That is, it's just a long term lifestyle change. You know, mm. from eating, from exercise, from thinking about food, what type of food to eat, and stuff like that. So it's a whole lifestyle. And I want to remain like that for the rest of my life. Yeah. So. Well, I'm happy for you and your journey. Like a crazy. Happy birthday! Thank you, love. We need something that we use. Juan has a jump rope. He's gonna let me borrow it. Mom, open your present. Happy birthday. Okay, share it with the car first. Okay. Can you turn off the music, babe? An amazing person doing some awesome things. Doing awesome things. I can't read. Happy birthday, Vivian. Wishes. Wishing. Wishing. Mom, I cannot read That's you right. Wishing, because wishing, it looks like an E. S. Wishes. Wishing you love, health, and success. Most of all, wishing you happiness always. Your dearest mom. Crystal Ball. Mom, can I? I oh my God. To mom. That's how I see you. That's who you are. Happy birthday, Jaden. <laughs> You know you're my best birthday present. Mom, do you want to? Do you want to? Want me to open it? How about you can help me? Can I? How about you help me? We go that side. I'll go this side. Wow! It says hope, love, and dreams. But this word has the same. Never lose hope, love deeply, and live your dreams. See? Nice word. And these are, what else? They're candle holders, I believe. You like them? Yeah. Shot glass. <laughs> Multi purpose. Multi purpose. Chocolate milk shot. Huh. This would be really cute for proper dating. Because I like to, um, I'm Chocolate into plants. So this would be cute to have as a propagation station. Just look. a little plant. Oh, look. That would be cute. What? Wait, what? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. No. Yeah. I'm not big on candles, but this would be cute for my, for what? So what I'm thinking about doing is putting water in here, getting cuttings from my plants, and then sticking it in here. And then the flow. And then it grows. Oh, you don't want to do the candles? I don't have candles. And plus, I have a child, and I have a bunny. I don't trust myself with candles in my room. 
Okay, Vivian, we are going to conclude this talk, okay? So, um, yeah, love, dream, and hope. I wish you the best of uh, 2020, 2021. Thank you, Mom. Okay. Jaden, you want to give Mommy a hug? Hi, kiss. happy birthday! Jaden, give Mommy a hug and kiss. Jaden, stop doing that, please. Go, go give. Me. Go give him a hug. Go, go give him a hug and then let him come out. Happy birthday, hug. I love you forever. You're love my heart. Love you thousand forever. You're my heart. And my best birthday present ever. Thank you. Hey. Mm. Hey, give me love. Why am I so lucky? What is today day, Jaden? Whose birthday? Mommy? What? Say Good something. Day. Say something on the camera. What do you want to say to mommy? Happy birthday! Mommy!